I'm Blair Gilbert, here for Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan and MrHardware.com. We're going to go over the garage door opener transmitter that's in your car. You drive up to the house, you go to hit the garage door opener button, you're hitting it and the door doesn't open or you have to wait until you get real close to the garage door to open it. Very first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop them apart, change the batteries and have you go try it 19 out of 20 times, that's it. These batteries can be measured voltage checked and they're still going to read good. The problem is they're only used for one second at a time. It'll still read three volts but you have to change it. Here I'm going to show you a couple of different remotes we got lined up here. Just to give you a clue what you're up against. And as we go around this one we're going to see that they put a little wider slot here. Right there it's wider. It's made for a screwdriver or a coin and you put it in there and turn and you pop it apart because you don't have to take in pay someone or assume it's broken, first you make a quick investment of about three dollars a battery and change the batteries. So the batteries are in, you need something small that you can push in the back because these are like, these are sometimes referred to as coin batteries. So very carefully slide that baby out of there, it's about the size of a quarter. There. Now, once it's out, we take, we see what the battery is. This particular battery is a 2016. This unit's going to take two of them. Some openers will use two, some openers will only use one. Now you'll notice they put a, a plus in the top of this holder. That means positive is up. So a lot of times all our new batteries are coming with little protectives on it. So you peel off the protective insulator Try not to handle the battery too much. Slide in a new one as easy as that. The batteries will be marked with a plus. The negative will not be marked, it will be smooth. So you see the positive up, make sure you install the batteries with the positive going the way they suggest it. So here we'll take a look at a Craftsman. Same thing, we looked around, we see the little slot. Again, it's got the protective cover. This unit shows plus, which means when we install the battery, we want to see the plus. We see here on the circuit board there's a plus. If I can see the plus, that means that I want the plus on the battery to be visible also. You see the two pluses? That's really what you need to know is you need to know that you keep the polarity the same. And then here's another opener. This is a lift master. This is a crazy one. Look closely, it's got some screws. You have to undo the screws first. There, we got this baby apart. Now this one's harder to get the batteries out of and how it works is this circuit board, just a little bit of encouragement comes right out. So now it's the circuit board's out, now you can more easily get the batteries out. Pay heed, the plus is already exposed waiting for us. This particular unit uses two batteries. It uses a 2450 still 3 volts but we don't care we care about that model number 2450 for there and then this one has two little coin batteries we slide them out and these are 2016's this particular one didn't have a protector on it just so we know we did check to make sure we didn't forget to take it off Plus, plus. Install it thusly, and that baby is ready to go. You can do this yourself. If it's been more than two years since you changed batteries, I suggest it's the first thing you do. It'll save you a lot of time and trouble.